Hi kids, it's Nana, and today I'm reading Pete the Cat, Rocking Field Day by Kimberly and James Dean. Pete the Cat is excited. Today is the town's annual field day. Pete can't wait. Last year, his team came in third place. He wants to win first place this year. Pete puts on a groovy shirt. He puts on a cool headband. Pete ties his red shoes. He is ready to go. Pete goes to the park. Callie, Grumpy Toad, and Gus are waiting for him. The four of them are a team. Pete sees his competition. If he wants a medal, he will have to beat Alligator, Squirrel, Turtle, and Marty. Wise old owl welcomes the teams. It is time for field day start. First up is the baton relay. The teams take their places. Ready, set, groove. Pete runs to Callie. Callie grabs the baton and runs to Gus. Alligator runs to Marty. Marty passes his baton to Squirrel. Squirrel is very fast. She gives her baton to Turtle. Turtle crosses the finish line ahead of Grumpy Toad. Turtle wins! Yay, Turtle! Great job! Pete is frustrated. He wants to win first prize, but his team was not fast enough. Pete will have to try harder. The three-legged race is next. Pete knows he can win this time. He and Gus are a team. Ready, set, groove. Pete and Gus start to run. Suddenly they fall down. Oh no, Gus tripped on his shoelace. Marty and Squirrel work together. They don't fall down. They cross the finish line. Woohoo! Yay, Marty and Squirrel. Great job. Pete starts to feel disappointed. He keeps losing. Next is the water balloon toss. Pete can't give up. He has to do better this time. Pete throws his balloon to Callie. She catches it and tosses it back. Down the line, a balloon breaks. The team steps back and throw again. More balloons fall and break. Soon, only two teams are left. Alligator throws his balloon. It hits Pete and it pops. Pete is wet but happy. He and Callie win. Woohoo! Good job, Pete and Callie. You won. Pete thinks about what games are left to play. If he wins everything, he can still get a medal. Right now, it is time for tug of war. Pete knows his team is strong. He's sure they can win. Marty's team pulls the rope. Pete's team pulls the rope harder. Alligators tumble over the line. Pete's team wins. Woohoo! Next is the obstacle course. Pete lines up. He knows he can win. Ready, set, groove. Pete runs through tires. He climbs up a wall. He belly crawls through a tunnel. Ahead of him, Pete sees the finish line. He runs as fast as he can. Pete crosses the line. Now, Pete is happy. If he wins the last game, he will get first prize. The last game is carry the egg. Pete holds an egg on a spoon. He runs as fast as he can. Pete's egg wobbles and falls. Suddenly, he is covered in yolk. Pete joins his friends on the medal stand. Pete's team and Marty's team tied for first place. That is awesome. Woohoo! Pete is happy. He didn't get to win alone, but sharing with friends isn't so bad. Pete looks at his groovy medal. What a rocking day! And that's the end of the story. If you like this story, like the video and make a comment that you liked it. And you can also suggest any books that you would like me to read. Have a wonderful summer. Bye.